usually meningiomas are very slowly growing tumors so what are the signs and symptoms of these slowly growing tumors they can present in different ways to start with sometimes meningiomas can be completely silent and they can grow to a huge size many of my patients have asked me doctor if we have this kind of a tumor as it is seen on the mri how come we didn't know about it so the answer to this lies in the fact that the, when a tumor grows slowly the surrounding brain gets time to adapt to it and so there is no functional loss or there is no sudden increase in the intracranial tension so they can be completely asymptomatic however there comes a point after which there is rapid worsening and the patient can suddenly become unconscious after that particular tip of point if the tumor goes on increasing in size there is progressive increase in the intracranial pressure or intracranial tension so it presents as headaches uh, vomiting uh, blurring of vision sometimes double vision at times it presents with uh, worsening consciousness uh, the relatives tell us that the patient remains drowsy so these are very common signs and symptoms of in raised intracranial tension taklif thi nilima ji pehle dekhe चलने फिरने का मोमेंट्स कुछ नहीं था और इम्बैलेंस हो रहा था बैक पेन्स हो रहे थे इधर सर में दर्द सर में दर्द हो रहा था आपको इम्बैलेंस कितने दिन से हो रहा था काफी टाइम से था लेकिन अंदर ही अंदर महसूस नहीं हो रहा था वो और हेडेक हेडेक तो हमेशा जैसे मॉर्निंग उठे के शुरू हो जाता था हेडेक थोड़ा सा बाम वगैरह लगाए कि थोड़ा कम लगता था फिर वो स्टार्ट रहते ही थे दिन भर और स्लो मोशन में चलने लगी थी मैं एकदम स्लो मोशन में आप यहाँ पे आए थे तो आपको कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा था नहीं बिल्कुल इतना सर दर्द हो रहा था इतना सर्द हो रहा था आपको वॉमिटिंग जैसा फील हो रहा था हाँ। कुछ खाने की इच्छा नहीं हो रही थी कुछ बराबर है बिल्कुल दोन हजार आठ साली मी अशी ग्लानित जायला लागले जवळजवळ बारा तास वीस तास अशी ग्लानित जायला लागले त्याच्यानंतर मग माझा एम आर आय करायचं ठरवलं तर जुलैमध्ये दोन हजार नऊ साली जुलैमध्ये एम आर आय केला आणि त्याच्यात मोठा ट्युमर दिसला मी चालताना एकदम पडायची खाली आता चक्कर यायची एकदम अंधारी यायची किंवा मला खालीवर दिसायचं तेव्हा माझं चाललं फिरणं हळूहळू करून बाहेरचं बंद झालं मी घरातच चालायला लागले आणि कॉन्फिडन्स पूर्ण गेला माय आईज वर गेटिंग ब्लरी अँड बिंग अ पॅरॅलिटिक ऑलरेडी माय राईट साईड वॉज व्हेरी व्हेरी सेन्सिटिव्ह माय राईट इयर वॉज गोईंग डेफ अँड आफ्टर द सर्जरी विच हॅपन ऑन द ट्वेंटी नाईन्थ ऑफ डिसेंबर ट्वेंटी नाईन्टीन इट्स हार्डली थ्री मंथ्स अँड आय एम बॅक ऑन माय फीट विदाऊट एनी हेल्प I can see much better. I don't slur. My speech does not slur as you see. And I walk stably. I'm completely back on my feet. Third is with fits or seizures. A patient gets a fit and his MRI is done and a meningioma is seen. This is one way for the meningioma to get diagnosed. The fourth type of symptom is progressive change in behavior. now out of so many psychiatric cases very few are caused by brain tumors but we have to remember this possibility usually it is a gradual change in personality and uh, relatives notice it uh, very very slowly because it doesn't happen in one day so patient becomes lethargic he becomes depressed sometimes patients can have very different kinds of uh, emotions Uh, which they report to the relatives depending on the site of the tumor counseling cha madam ne sangitla te tanche tanne test ghetla tanne sangitla ke manas upchar tadnyan kade ghevun ja ma tanche manas upchar tadnyan kade ami gelo tithe tya doctor ne pan tancha test test ghetla je kai vicharaycha te vicharla ani ma tanne sangitla ke mri kada आणि मग एम आर आय मध्ये डिटेक्ट झालं की ब्रेन मध्ये द फिफ्थ ग्रुप इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मेनिंजोमा ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग 
the flow of brain fluid or CSF. When it does so, there is sudden increase in the volume of the fluid inside the skull or CSF and uh, there can be sudden increase in pressure and patient can become unconscious. The next group of symptoms is loss of function of the neural structures which are surrounding the meningiomas. As the meningioma is increasing in size, it will it presses on the surrounding structures. Uh, suppose let us say the meningioma is going on the left side and it presses on the motor strip, then person can have reduction in power in the right hand, right leg, right side of the face. So, it is loss of uh, nervous function. Similarly, the meningioma is growing near the cranial nerves or the nerves which come out of the brain and then go to the different structures in on our face like optic nerve which is a, a nerve of vision or a vestibulocochlear nerve which is a nerve of hearing and balance, facial nerve which is a nerve of movement of face. So, if meningioma starts pressing on these nerves, there is loss of function of these nerves. For example, the meningioma is pressing on the optic nerve, the patient will complain of progressive loss of vision. So, loss of uh, neurological function is another group of symptoms.